Hi everyone, this is Srikant S, Western Professor of Tribal Department. In this session, I am going to discuss some problems on maximum power transfer theorem. The maximum power transfer theorem states that the maximum power will be transferred to the load only when the load resistance is equals to the source resistance. So for that, <coughs> we need to convert whatever the circuit, we need to convert into a single voltage source in series with the resistance that is nothing but by using the Thevenin's theorem. That is source resistance is nothing but our Thevenin resistance. And here this is the circuit where we need to calculate the value of resistance R and such that the maximum power takes place, transfer takes place. And also we need to calculate what is the amount of power. So for that, first we need to calculate what is the Thevenin's equivalent. So for calculating Thevenin's equivalent, we are removing this load resistance and then we are calculating the open circuit voltage. So our first step is here we are removing the load resistance and we are going to calculate the VOC, open circuit voltage. So for this, first let us calculate, this is open circuited source. So no current will flow through this source. So only current is coming from the 4 volts source. So here we need to calculate in order to get the open circuit voltage, we need to calculate what is the voltage across 1 ohm. So for that, first we need to calculate what is the current flowing through this 1 ohm. So for this, we are going to calculate the total current which is delivering to the circuit from the 4 volt source. So for that, here phi, phi ohms and 1 ohms are connected in series, phi ohms and 1 ohms are because here no current is flowing, here no current is flowing. So phi ohms and 1 ohms are connected in series. In series, the equivalent resistance is R1 plus R2, phi plus 1, 6 ohms is connected in parallel with 2 ohms, 6 ohms is connected in parallel with 2 ohms, phi plus 1 is in parallel with 2 and that is in series with the 1 ohm, that is in series with the 1 ohm, 1 is in parallel with sorry, 5 plus 1 is in parallel with 2 and that is in series with the 1 ohm. So that is why we are taking 4 volts divided by 5 plus 1 is in parallel with 2 plus 1 which is equals to 4 by 5 by 2 which is equals to 8 by 5 amperes. This is the current which is delivering by the 4 volts source. Now we need to calculate what is the current I2, current flowing through 5 ohms and 1 ohm series combination. So for that I2 is equals to I into opposite resistance 2 divided by 2 plus 5 plus 1 which is equals to 8 by 5 into 1 by 4 which is equals to 2 by 5 amperes. Now the drop across AB branch is then VAB is equals to 2 by 5 into 1 which is equals to 2 by 5 volts. Now obviously here this is the VAB value. Now VOC is equals to these two voltages will be added. VOC is equals to VAB plus 6, 
which is equals to 2 by 5 plus 6 that is equals to 32 by 5 volts. So from this we are going to get the open circuit voltage as 6.4 volts that is equals to VTH. Now we got the VTH value and now we need to calculate RTH. For that we are going to make the voltage sources short circuit and current sources open circuit. So after making the voltage source, two voltage sources are short circuited, our circuit will be like this. Here 1 ohms is in parallel with 2 and that combination is in series with 5 ohms and the total combination is in parallel with 1 ohm. So 1 is in parallel with 2 which is in series with 5 the total combination is in parallel with 1 ohm. So we are going to get this value as 17 by 3 is in parallel with 1. So we will get 17 by 20 ohms which is equals to 0 0.85 ohms. This is the RTH we got. And Based on maximum power transfer theorem, that is when the load resistance is equals to source resistance, then only the maximum power will be transferred to the load. So R is equals to RTH, which is equals to 0 0.85 ohms, where P max is equals to maximum power VOC square by 4R, which is equals to 6.4 whole square divided by 4 into 0 0.85 which is approximately 12 watts. Next we will go with the next problem. What should be the value of R such that maximum power can take place from the rest of the network to R in figure. Obtain the amount of this power. So these are the terminals which are given X and Y. So first we need to open circuit this X and Y. <laughs> so when we open circuit, our circuit will be like this. This is open circuited and uh, here is the source voltage that is 24 volts and here current source in parallel with the resistance is converted into a voltage source in series with the resistance that is 5 into 2 that is current source to voltage transformation current source to voltage source transformation 10 volts is in series with 2 ohms now in order to get the VOC first we need to calculate what is the current flowing through this 5 ohms. So current flowing through this 5 ohms will get here no current is flowing. Here the current value is 0. So when the current value is 0 we can say that this 10 ohms and 5 ohms are connected in series. So current I is equals to voltage divided by resistance. So here I is equals to voltage 24 divided by 10 plus 5, 15 that is equals to 1.6 amperes. Now VAB is equals to voltage drop across 5 ohms. VAB is equals to 1.6 into 5 which is equals to 8 volts. Now this which is in the left loop. If we apply KVL in this particular loop, that is minus 10 plus VOC plus 8 volts because here VAB value is, we are getting it as 8 volts, which is equals to 0. So VOC is equals to 2 volts. Now we got VOC as 2 volts, that is nothing but our VTH. Now we got 
the open circuit voltage now we need to calculate what is the internal resistance of the circuit or thevenin resistance of the circuit for that we have to replace the voltage sources with short circuit so here this 24 volts and 10 volts are replaced with the short circuit here if you see this circuit between these two terminals between these two terminals this 10 and 5 ohms are connected in parallel and that combination is in series with 2 ohms so rth is equals to 10 into 5 by 10 plus 5 plus 2 which is equals to 5.33 ohms as per the maximum power transfer theorem r is equals to rth which is equals to 5.33 ohms where p max is equals to voc square by 4r which is equals to 2 square by 4 into 5.33 which is equals to 188 milliwatts this is the power absorbed by the load resistance under maximum power condition. We go with the next problem. Assuming maximum power transfer from source to R, find the value of this amount of power in the circuit of figure given. This is the circuit which is given. This is the load resistance and this value of load resistance is equals to the load resistance at which the maximum power occurs. So here for that first we need to calculate what is VOC. For calculating VOC here no current is flowing through this 5 ohms. So VOC is nothing but voltage across AB terminals. So first let us calculate what is the current flowing through this 10 ohms. So for that I is equals to all these resistances are connected in series 1 ohm, 1 ohm, 3 ohm and 10 ohms. So when the resistances n number of resistances are connected in series the equivalent resistance will be R1 plus R2 plus R3 so on Rn. So here four resistors are connected in series. So R1 plus R2 plus R3 plus R4. That is 1 plus 1, 2 plus 3, 5 plus 10, 15 ohms. So I is equals to 50 by 15, that is 3.33 ohms. Sorry, 3.33 amperes. This is the current. Now, open circuit voltage VOC is equals to voltage across the 10 ohms. That is 3.333 into 10. That is equals to 33.33 volts. Now, we are getting this current is in the reverse direction. That is VZ, VXY is equals to minus 33.33 volts. Now, this is nothing but VOC or VTH calculation. Now, we need to calculate the RTH. For that, we need to make the voltage source as short circuit. That is nothing but voltage source is replaced with their internal impedance. So, internal impedance of voltage source is 0 under ideal conditions. So, 0 means it is like a short circuit. Now, if you see here this voltage source is made short circuit. Now, if you see the circuit from these X and Y terminals, now we can say this 1 ohm, 1 ohm and 3 ohms are connected in series and that combination is in parallel with the 10 ohms and this total parallel combination is connected in series with the 5 ohms. 
so that's why rth is equals to 5 into 10 by 5 plus 10 plus 5 which is equals to 8.33 ohms so now we got the rth value as 8.33 now as per maximum power transfer theorem that is when the load resistance is equals to source resistance then the maximum power will be transferred from source to load so the load resistance value rl is equals to rth that is equals to 8.33 ohms now p max is equals to voc square by 4r that is equals to minus 33.33 33 whole square divided by 4r which is equals to 33.34 the next problem what resistance should be connected across x y in the circuit shown in figure such that maximum power is developed across this load resistance and what is the amount of this maximum power so here this between x and y we need to calculate the vth and rth and then we need to calculate what is the maximum power so for that first we are going to write the kvl in this particular circuit so here few These are the four currents which we are going to get and the first current is if let us consider this is V1 and this is at ground volts with zero volts. Now the current flowing through this 1 ohms is V1 minus 15 by 1 and in the same way here this current is in the opposite direction so it will be minus 5 and here V1 minus 0 by 10 ohms and here V1 minus 0 by 5 ohms. Here V1 minus 15 by 1 plus V1 by 5 plus V1 by 10 is equals to 5. Assuming the node voltage at 1 to be V, which is equals to V plus 0 0.2 volts to V plus 0 0.1 V, which is equals to 5 plus 15 where v is equals to 20 by 1.3 20 by 1.3 which is equals to 15.4 volts where i2 is equals to v by 5 which is equals to 15.4 by 5 which is equals to 3.1 ampere where voc is equals to i2 into 3 ohms because this is the current it will take here this is the I2 value which is multiplied with 3 ohms will give us the open circuit voltage. So here the open circuit voltage VOC is equals to I2 into 3 which is equals to 3.1 into 3 which is 9.3 volts. The amount of maximum power transfer is given by P max is equals to VOC square by 4 RTH, which is equals to 9.3 square by 4 into 421 by 6.5. So here this RTH value we need to calculate. So for calculating the RTH, we need to replace the voltage source with short circuit and current source with open circuit here it is short circuited and here it is open circuited if you see this circuit this 10 ohms and 1 ohms are connected in parallel that combination is in series with 2 ohms that is 1 is in parallel with 10 plus 2 
and this complete total combination is in parallel with 3. 1 into 10 by 1 plus 10 plus 2 into 3 by 1 into 10 by 1 plus 10 plus 2 plus 3. And all this combination is in series with this 5 ohms, which is equals to 421 by 65 ohms. This is the RTH value. So, P max is equals to VOC square by 4 RTH, which is equals to 9.3 square by 4 into 421 by 65, which is equals to 3.34 watts. Now, again, the next problem, find the value of R to have maximum power transfer in the circuit. Also, obtain the amount of maximum power. Here, this is the load resistance which is given. Now, we are making this load resistance as open circuit. When this load resistance is open circuited, we need to calculate the voltage across this open circuited terminals. For that, first we need to calculate what is the voltage across this 2 ohm resistance. So, in order to calculate the voltage across 2 ohm resistance, first we are calculating what is the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistance. For calculating current, we are going to apply KVL in the loop. So, here by applying KVL in this particular loop, minus 20 plus 6 plus 6 volts plus I into 10 plus 5 plus 2, which is equals to 0, where I is equals to 14 by 17 amperes. When we are having the current value as 14 by 17 amperes. Now we can calculate the VOC value. Open circuit voltage is nothing but these two voltages will be added together. So that is VOC is equals to 10 plus 14 by 17 into 2 which is equals to 11.65 volts. This is the VTH calculation. Now we are going to calculate the RTH. So for calculating RTH, in our circuit, we are having only voltage sources. So all the voltage sources are replaced with short circuit. Now, when we replace with the short circuit, our circuit will be like this. And here, if you see this circuit, this 10 ohms and 5 ohms are connected in series and that combination is in parallel with 2 ohms. So, RTH is equal to 15 into 2 by 15 plus 2 that is 30 by 17 which is equal to 1.765 ohms. Now, as per the theorem of maximum power transfer, R is equals to 1.765 which is equals to RTH and P max the amount of maximum power transfer which is equals to VTH square by 4R which is equals to 11.65 square by 4 into 1.765 which is equals to 19.22 watts. Now, find the value of R such that maximum power transfer takes place from current sources to load in the figure, obtain the amount of maximum power transfer. Now, here these are the terminals X and Y, these two will be removed, whatever the load resistance is going to be removed and we are going to calculate the open circuit voltage. So, here by replacing R with open circuit, we can declare the nodal voltages as Vx and Vy. So, here Vx by 2 
plus Vx by 5, which is equals to 5 amperes. Vx by 2 plus Vx by 5 is equals to 5 amperes. Or 7 by 10 into Vx is equals to 5, where Vx is equals to 50 by 7, that is equals to 7.4143. And here the Vy value is minus VAB, which is equals to minus 4 into 2 amperes, which is equals to minus 8 volts. Now we got the Vx and Vy. So in loop ABCD minus Vx plus Vyc plus Vy is equals to 0. Where Vyc is equals to Vx minus Vy that is equals to 7.143 minus of minus 8 which is equals to 15.143 volts. With reference to the above figure, first we need to replace or calculating the RTH. Here we are having only current sources. So the current sources will be replaced with open circuit where RTH calculation because these two are open circuited. So when it is open circuited, this one ohm will not come into our consideration. Only the three resistors, 2 ohms, 5 ohms and 4 ohms will come into our consideration. So here if you see between these two terminals, we can say that this 5 ohms and 2 ohms are connected in parallel and these two parallel resistances are connected in series. That is 2 into 5 by 2 plus 5 plus 4 that is equals to 10 by 7 plus 4 which is equals to 38 by 7 which is 5.43 ohms and from the maximum power transfer theorem R is equals to RTH which is equals to 5.43 ohms. Now we got the RTH value and P max is equals to VOC square by 4 RTH which is equals to 15.143 whole square by 4 into 5.43 which is equals to 10.96 watts. This is the another difficult problem how to calculate the load resistance and also the maximum power which is transferred to the load. So this is our circuit here we need to calculate the VOC value and here for calculating the VOC first we need what is the voltage across this 5 ohms. So for that we are calculating the current flowing through the 5 ohms. Here it is open circuited, no current is flowing. So here we are applying the mesh analysis, that is we are applying the KVLs in order to calculate the I1 and I2. So here minus 20 plus 20 into I1 plus 2 into I1 minus I2, that is 20 plus 2 minus 2 into I2. Here 22 I1 minus 2 I2 is equals to 20. We can write it as 11 I1 minus I2 is equals to 10. Now at loop 2, here these are the three resistors, that is 10 plus 5 plus 2 into I2 minus. I1. This is the only resistance which is connected with loop 1. So minus 2 into I1 which is equals to 0. 17 I2 minus 2 I1 is equals to 0. Where I1 is equals to 17 by 2 into I2 that is 8.5 I2. Here by substituting this value into the above equation 
11 into 8.52, 8.5 I2 minus I2 is equals to 0 or 92.5 I2 which is equals to 10 where I2 is equals to 10 by 92.5 which is equals to 0 0.108 amperes. This is the current which is flowing through the 5 ohm resistance. Now we need to calculate what is the voltage drop across 5 ohms. V 5 ohms is equals to 0 0.108 into 5 which is equals to 0 0.54 volts. And in loop 3 we find that minus 50 minus 0 0.54 plus VOC is equals to 0 where VOC is equals to 50.54. Now this is our VTH. Now we need to calculate RTH. For calculating RTH all the sources will be replaced with short circuit. So after replacing our circuit will be like this. Now we can see this 20 ohms and 2 ohms are connected in parallel and that combination is in series with 10 ohms and this total combination is in parallel with the 5 ohms. So 20 into 2 by 20 plus 2 plus 10 which is in parallel with 5 divided by 20 into 2 by 20 plus 2 plus 10 plus 5 which is equals to 11.82 into 5 by 16.82 which is approximately equals to 3.5 ohms. Now as per maximum power transfer theorem R is equals to RTH which is equals to 3.5 ohms. Now we got the resistance value and now we need to calculate the maximum power transfer where P max is equals to VOC square by 4R which is equals to 50.54 whole square by 4 into 3.5 which is equals to 182.44 watts. And this is the another complex problem and we need to calculate what is the load resistance and what is the maximum power transfer in the given circuit. So for calculating the open circuit voltage we are open circuiting these two terminals and here in order to calculate the open circuit voltage first we are calculating what is the current flowing through 1 ohm resistance is 5 amperes downwards. Drop across V1 ohms is equals to 5 into 1 which is equals to 5 ohms. Also at node A assuming the node voltage to be V volts nodal analysis gives that V minus V1 ohms by 10 plus V minus 20 minus V1 ohms by 2 plus V minus VOC by 5 is equals to 2. If we substitute this V1 ohm value that is because here only one current source is flowing because of this current 5 ohms 5 amperes we are going to get here. 5 volts. If we substitute all the values, we will get V 0.2 VOC minus 0.2 V is equals to 3. This is our equation number 2. Now we got equation 1 and 2. By solving these two equations, VOC is equals to 45 volts. This is our The VTH calculation. Now in order to calculate the RTH we have to make the current source open circuit and voltage sources will be short circuited. So if you see this circuit 
these two resistances 10 ohms and 2 ohms are connected in parallel that combination is in series with 5 ohms and 1 ohm here 10 and 2 are connected in parallel and that is in series with 1 ohm and 5 ohms that is equals to 7.67 ohms so now we got rth value as 7.67 so we can write it as load resistance is equals to RTH that is equals to 7.67 ohms. So the maximum power transfer is equals to VOC square by 4 RL that is equals to VOC value is 45 square by 4 RL that is equals to 7.67 which is approximately equals to 66 watts. This is the maximum power delivered to the load when the load resistance is equal to source resistance. So in this session I have discussed the different problems on maximum power transfer theorem and also we have calculated what is the amount of maximum power transfer to the load. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.